Overcoming Witchcraft Part 2 Witchcraft can be overcome. The first step is to recognize that any form of witchcraft is a sin against God. It must be a daily choice to bring everything through associated with witchcraft to death on the cross. Also, bring all curiosity of the unknown to death on the cross. If you have been entangled with witchcraft and desire to be free, declare daily that the old man that practiced this sin is dead and choose a new life in Christ. Galatians 5 1 says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. You can repent and turn away from witchcraft. Repent by every place where you re realize that you've been deceived by some form of witchcraft. Every person you allow to deceive you. Every book you have read that teaches contrary to what God's word says. Every practice that relates to witchcraft, even Halloween. Repent for all rebellion against God for his mercy. Rebellion is an open door to demonic spirits. God's word warns us that rebellion darkens our spiritual eyesight, which is discernment. And it deafens our ears to that we can't hear his voice. We can overcome witchcraft if you truly repent. We encourage you to follow the list to warn others, especially other children who are entangled which witchcraft, who intentionally wear and display them because they are popular. Many of the signs can also be seen today as a decoration in a home or as an outdoor decoration on a house, barn, or flower garden. Keep in mind that many of these symbols have double or meaning, multiple meanings. For example, think about the pentagram has been used to transmit occult power in all kinds of rituals for centuries. But to the Christian, the same shape may represent a star, part of God's creation. See, the image of a fish may mean a sign of the zodiac or astrology to some, but to Christians, it also has the following meaning of Jesus Christ and sharing the message of his love. Even the cross to Christians represent the crucifixion of Christ. To other religions, the same image with a few modifications represent the forces of darkness. Much prayer and discernment is needed to determine which symbols need to be eliminated from your home once you know their true origins. Repeat this simple prayer with me and do this prayer daily until you truly overcome witchcraft. Dear Heavenly Father, I repent for rebellion against you and your word by tolerating or participating with witchcraft. I ask for the blood of Jesus to be applied to my sin and cover my family. I ask that everything under my ownership, heirship, and stewardship be protected from the powers of darkness. In the name of Jesus. I break all witchcraft, curses, spells, and all powers associated with it. Through the blood of Jesus, the works of witchcraft, evil powers, spells, hexes, vexes, voodoos are broken off me my family, and all future generations. I ask for the door of access to be closed and a shield of godly protection to be, to be placed over me and my family. Lord, I bring to death on the cross all curiosity of the unknown, the curiosity of witchcraft, and all other demonic and satanic practices. Lord, please forgive me for being curious and rebellious by wanting what you said is forbidden. I ask you for all these prayers and all these blessings to overcome witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you repeated that prayer, or if you listened to that repair and you let it to meditate in your mind and heart, understand God is faithful and he will deliver you from the bondage of witchcraft. Amen.